Hi guys, oh, welcome to another video. Today's video, we have a new foundation to try. I'm so excited because we haven't tried a new foundation in a very, very long time. So I was able to test this foundation, see if it held up on my Ollie Combo skin. So if you wanna see what I use, cause I did show you all what all I use, other makeup products I use in this video. See, I'm already talking too much. Let me get out of the way. So, yeah, if you want to see what I use, all that good stuff, make sure you keep watching, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is exciting. We are trying out a new foundation. The foundation I picked up is the Lancome Tint It All Care and Glow Foundation. I guess this was released maybe, I'm going to say a week or maybe two weeks ago. And I have the shade 510N and Sephora shade matched me online. I ordered this offline and this says that this is neutral undertones. You all know I sometimes I can go neutral, sometimes I can go golden, never red, never orange, never green, none of those. But neutral and golden, I can use it depending on the foundation. It usually will work for me. Uh, a little bit about this foundation. This foundation comes in 30 shades and it says that it's a 24 hour healthy glow serum foundation with buildable medium coverage with an SPF of 27 uh, to hydrate and smooth skin for a natural glowy finish, which you all know I am Ollie Combo, Ollie right here the outside of my face is somewhat normal it's not dry it's not oily so i would consider it to be normal but this t-zone area can get oily and i must say recently over the last month or so i haven't been ex as extremely oily as i used to be i want to say in my younger years i don't know if it's because i'm getting older my skin is changing but i'm not as oily as i used to be um what else can we say about this foundation um i'm going to put right here a picture of the match the person that I was matched to on Sephora's website and also a swatch of the shades so you can get a idea of how the shades look. If you are new to my channel, I have the original, I was looking for it and I can't find it, but I have the original Tint E Doll foundation and it took me years to find my shade, absolutely years to find my shade. I finally found my shade out I want to say sometime last year and I'm in the shade 495 of that foundation it's the perfect match for my skin the concealer if I want a, a skin tone concealer 495 is the shade in that also so 495 is the perfect match now this is 510 so we're going to see how this goes this foundation was $47 and it comes in one fluid ounce which is, which is the standard amount so let's see oh okay the i wish i could find it but the original has a black top whereas this has a white top so if i had both of them on my table at least i would know which one i was reaching for based upon the top so let me shake it up just in case and wipe whatever i have on the back of my hand up okay let's hope this our shade y'all because you know, I don't have a Sephora in my hair area, a Sephora like that. Well, maybe I got to unlock it. There you go. Okay. Um, so, I'm really hoping this works. I'm going to do four pumps. I may not use them all, but it looks like it's neutral. It has no golden in it at all. It is neutral. Hope you can really see. I'm going to use... These three items, these three items are from Shop Miss A, they're a dollar. So it's a buffer brush, a foundation brush, and then my sponge is damp. So let's use the foundation side too. It's kinda, I won't, I won't even say it's like really, really runny. We'll focus on this. Yeah, it's not really, really runny at all. So, let's see.
it did just melt into my skin effortlessly hmm okay the shade is fine the feel of it nothing I don't feel anything I saw some reviews and they were saying it had a strong smell to it. I don't get that. I mean, I sm it has a kind of a smell to it, but it's kind of one where you don't really notice it. Well, I don't notice it. I thought it was going to smell like really strong, strong perfume, but it doesn't. So yeah, that's a perfect match. I'm gonna do one and a half more pumps, get my forehead. And above my brows. I never like carve my brows. I'll do it today. When I saw glow, <laughs> you know me and my alliness, I'm like, oh no, that, that's not going to work for me, not the glow. But I have been reaching for glowy foundations lately. I'm like, well, what the heck? This melts into your skin. Right off the bat, this melts into your skin. I don't feel anything on my skin. It's not heavy. It's not creasing. It's not breaking up. It feels almost like a moisturizer with coverage. Yeah, it feels like a moisturizer with coverage. I'm trying to see this piece of hair. I have maybe a couple of spots and it covered it up. I mean, not full coverage. I'm quite sure I could go a little bit more coverage, but I'm fine with this. And as you can see, um, it has a little glow to it, like what it says. It's not matte. So I have a little glow to it, and that's fine. I'm just happy the color matches. Okay. So, keeping in the lightweight family, I'm just going to use my LA Girl Fine Concealer to conceal with today. Just because it's, light, it's a lightweight foundation, I don't want to do a heavy concealer. So, just keep it light. And I saw this, uh, I got to go back. I was watching a video of some young lady, and she showed me how to put on concealer. I mean, how to properly place it. So I need to go back so I can. Make sure I'm doing it right. Now with this concealer, I can let it sit for a minute, just for a minute. I'm not going to contour. I haven't been contouring lately. Don't know why. I just been loving to like bronze my cheeks with, you know, a powder and let that be it. So I haven't really been contouring. So let this sit for a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, I have this brush from out of a set from an Amazon brush set, and it's like a really fluffy brush. I'm going to use that to blend out the concealer first. You all know that I love using a brush to blend out my concealer. So far, I have two items from Lancome. 
which is the original Tinted Doll and the concealer, the Tinted Doll concealer. And I love both of them. So Lancome for me has been good, even though it took me forever to find my shade. But I guess the more I learned about makeup, the more I learned what I was looking for versus going inside of a store and letting someone else choose my color for me. Even though sometimes that can be helpful, sometimes you know what you like. You know, even though they say, oh, you're this, you should wear this. But makeup to me is a preference and it's all on what you like. So if you like to look a certain way, then that's just how you like to look. It doesn't mean that it's wrong. I don't think anything with makeup is wrong. Like It's all on what you like. So don't ever feel like when you go inside of a department store, wherever you go to get shade match or whatnot, and they say, oh, you need this because you're this. Well, I may be this, but I want to look like this. I want to have this look. So get what you want in this. I find I have a million sponges. I always use my dirty ones, which is not a good thing. It's not a good thing at all. But I got a new one. This is just a Shop Miss A from the Paul's um, from the Paul's edition, you know, where you donate and then they help um, animals or whatever so yeah so let's use this so soft for a dollar it's like butter it's like butter I've never had a blue beauty blender but I can imagine that it's comparable to this the paws one now from shop miss a and beauty benders are $20. That's the one thing that I've never invested in or saw no need to invest in. Everything is just melting in my skin really well. Like a really, really really well and I'm just catching these edges of where the concealer was to make sure no harsh lines I'm gonna take my Morphe loose setting powder powder and banana rich to set this When I do foundation reviews, I kind of like to show you all, you know, every step I do still. And I always like to use products that I know already work for me. So if something goes wrong with the foundation, I know it's not my other products, it's the foundation. Okay, I'm going to use my Juvia's Place Bronzer in Dark. And am I? I'm going to take the lighter shade up top. I might mix them depending on what I see. Or something. Yeah, I'm going to mix the two. I've been loving the brown, the lighter brown bronzer on me versus the darker one. No, oh, I'm not in focus. Get in focus, not on. Everything is blending together nicely on my face, 
with the foundation nothing I feel like is sticking or out of whack or not doing what it needs to do Sephora micro smooth and 60 deep to set the remainder of my face Now I can set my face with my NYX. Bear with me. I have been using this with you all for this long. And y'all see where I'm at? I still got to have a bottle. I said I wasn't going to use another setting spray until I finished one. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. This is the completed look using the new Lancome Tintney Doll Care and Glow Foundation in the shade 510N. And this is how my face is looking. I feel like it looks very lightweight, not a whole lot going on with it. This gives me just the right amount of coverage. Y'all know I've been loving medium coverage everything so this is just right for me i swear every time i start talking my nose starts running <laughs> i don't know if it's the morning time or what but i just feel like i mean it's not as glowy as i envisioned it would be i thought it was going to be extremely glowy and i just was going to be looking like the sun but <laughs> this is not bad it's not fully matte but it's not a lot of glow to it which I absolutely love so it's almost time for me to get to work I'm going to wear this up until my lunch break which is about five five and a half hours of wear so I'll come back I'll try to get a snippet of natural light but it's been raining so much lately like it's really cloudy now so i have no natural light but i'll show you all how it looks if the sun can come up and get a little bit closer right now this is just how it looks my skin looks a really really amazing lancome i'm happy so far i'm not gonna get too happy right now but we'll see when i check back in and i'll see you guys in a minute bye guys Okay guys, so I was able to get a little bit of sunshine and I said let me hurry up while I see a break in the clouds and this is how my face is looking in nothing but natural light, no light on at all. I think it looks really, really good. I'm trying not to look at the viewfinder because I don't want to look like I'm cross-eyed. <laughs> but yeah, this is how my face is looking in nothing but natural light as you can see it looks really 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 good like this foundation looks so really good so it's only been about two hours so i'm gonna give it like i said until my lunch break and then we'll see how it wears but so far it's sitting well it hasn't oxidized it Ox it hasn't oxidized <laughs> it's not breaking up in my smile line area which you know I really really love that um it's not creasing I don't feel like I have anything on my skin at all so yeah I'm losing sunshine right now oh that's a better one so it's coming the, the sun goes up and it goes down because it's been raining so much lately but yeah so this is how i'm looking after two hours so i'll see y'all at the end of the day bye guys hi guys i am back it has been just a little over six hours and this is how my face is looking as you can see it has a nice natural glow to it i'm not mad about this foundation at all i'm not matte I'm not overly dewy. It's just a really nice glow. Uh, I haven't blotted or anything. So let's take my brush from this morning. No more product or anything on it. Just to see if I wear this foundation, you know, throughout the day. And I might need to blot how my skin end up looking. Okay. 
I think the shade is spot on. I was a little worried. Sephora had me a little worried <laughs> as always, but this foundation, yeah, it's nice. So this is how my face is looking after a slight touch up. I love it. I absolutely, absolutely love it. It just, I don't feel, I think the most, the reason why I am enjoying this foundation the most is because I don't feel anything on my skin. And it's a medium coverage. So I don't look full and cakey. It's just a very, I will give it like a high medium coverage foundation, which I'm okay with. So I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. Now all Lancome has to do is come out with a concealer that matches this and a concealer and a powder. A face powder and that'll be all that'll be all come out with the concealer now y'all so yeah if you have tried this foundation or if you plan to try this foundation drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts about it and as always i'll see you in my next video bye guys